Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, if this is your first time tuning in, and this is Old Car Auto Guy. Today, we're gonna be stinking busy, so stay tuned. So the reason why we are going to be stinking busy today is because today is day one of Bill's vacation. You see, Bill has taken off for a couple of weeks, and that leaves me alone to look after any potential deals that he had going on as well as any that I had going on kind of all at the same time let's just hope that they don't all fall on my lap at the same time so when he left he had a couple of customers in pretty much ready to roll on a couple of vehicles one of them was this 2013 Hyundai Elantra the other was the little Chevy Aveo. So to my knowledge, the Chevy Aveo was a cash deal, meaning there's no financing involved, no heavy paperwork, but the Elantra is a different story. There is some financing involved, which is no big deal. That is what we do here. It just takes a little more time, that's all. Yesterday, it was a busy day as well because Bill had some of these customers in and out of the shop all day long, and one of them, at the last minute in the afternoon, he was able to close a deal. Which vehicle did he sell? The 2013 Ford Escape that was sitting right here. So there's one down. The little Ford Focus over here, that is going out today. We're gonna to get it in the shop and get the rocker panels kind of situated for Braden. And uh, that one, that way he'll be able to take that today and keep moving forward. So I've got a couple of customers that are coming in looking for vehicles and one of those vehicles is the 2014 Ford Fiesta. So what I've got to be able to do is I've got to get inside, get an application process for the Ford Fiesta. We're waiting to hear back from those other two customers. So I will update you as the day goes on. So guys, in different episodes of my show and different videos that we've done, I've showed you that we use an app to try and sell vehicles to other dealers through an online auction. So what I want to show you today is we've got this 2013 Honda CRV. That's old inventory. So we're going to offer it up to some other dealers to see if it's something that they would be interested in. I just want to move it at this point. So we're going to try and uh, do this up and I'm going to show you step by step on how we do that. So basically what I do is I log into my phone and the first thing it tells me it wants to do is scan the VIN. So we're going to scan the VIN and enter in the information on the vehicle. So hit scan VIN, it gives me a line. So on every vehicle, on most of your newer ones, they've got a barcode on the VIN plate. So we just bring it over here. It reads it and it comes up and it says that it's a Honda CRV under Carfax. We can take a picture of the Carfax, which we have inside, so we will do that and add it to the uh, report. We enter in the mileage, transmission, how many passengers, color, options, and such like that. And then I'll come back to you and show you what we do when it comes to taking pictures. So I've been all around this car right now. It's asking for the right rear. Now it's asking for the front right corner. It wants the front of the vehicle. windshield and roof because it wants to make sure there's no rust or any chips in the window. So we're going to go way up top. It also wants the engine compartment so we're going to pop the hood, we'll finish up our pictures and then we'll go around and give you the details on any damages. Now the reason why we have to show damages is because I want to represent this car in the exact same way I'd be wanting to buy it. So if I bought this car and someone didn't pick out a certain dent or a scratch, I'd probably be a little bit upset because I'd want to know about it. So that's what we're going to do. And now it wants me to take a picture of the tires because it wants the measurement on all four tires. This one has brand new tires. So we're going to take a picture of one tire and state that all four tires are brand new. So now that I've got everything entered in here, it gives me the option to do what's called appraisal now or available now so we are going to do appraisal because it's a short 20 minute of auction then we'll be able to keep track of any bids that come through on it and i forgot to take pictures of the car proof report so i'm going to go do that and then we'll upload it to the auction 
So we got the CRV up on the auction block and we did get a high bid on it. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to satisfy me. However, I did negotiate with the buyer or the top bidder and hopefully we can come to some sort of an agreement and get that thing sold and move it along. Free up that money so that we can start replacing some vehicles on the lot. I did have a gentleman come in today and uh, was really, really interested in the 2016 Kia Forte. This one right here that I totally did not almost hit with a Kia Sorento. And I was able to uh, get an application out of him. We've got an approval in place. So that's not gonna happen, unfortunately, until Tuesday, cause Monday is Canada Day. That means we are closed and we will be enjoying a long weekend here in Canada yet again. My American friends, I am sorry because we have so many long weekends here in Canada. This is yet one more and we are super excited to have it. So guys, as I said earlier on this week on my Instagram, if you don't follow me there, it's at Old Car Auto Guy. We talk a little bit of behind the scenes and talk about contests and different things that we're doing on the channel. And I had mentioned if you watched last Saturday's upload where we painted the grill on grandma and where we did the headlight restoration i've got a spare headlight restoration kit to give away so we're going to do that draw right now i know on instagram i said i was going to do it live but i think i can sneak in an edit tonight and get this video uploaded for tomorrow morning or this morning as you guys are watching it and uh, get this done so i'm going to pick a winner right now and i'm using TubeBuddy, uh, which allows me to pick a winner from the comments so Without further ado, let's find our winner of that Headlight Restore Restoration Kit. So basically the way this works is if, I, if you're using TubeBuddy, you can go to whichever video you want to use. So we're gonna be using this one. And we come over to the TubeBuddy icon. And down here, it allows you to pick a winner. And what that's going to do is pick a winner from all the comments in that video. So all I gotta do is click the green button and it tells me that Jonathan Hat is the winner. Congratulations Jonathan, you have won yourself a headlight restoration kit to use on a vehicle. I know you just bought one from me and it's in really good shape. You're probably not going to need that kit, but you can always use it, re-gift it, whatever. You've seen how easy it is and guys if you don't remember who Jonathan is, Jonathan is the fella who traded in the Mercedes c-class on the nissan rogue a while back and uh he's a great friend and a good customer of ours and uh so yeah jonathan congratulations i'll be getting a hold of you and making sure you know that you're a winner and what a gorgeous day it is it is friday afternoon we're getting ready to head home for the long weekend and after that big thunder and lightning sh uh, show that we had last night it was supposed to be a rainy day today and look, the sun is out. There are little clouds in the sky. And we are supposed to get a little bit of rain again tonight, but we'll take the sun as it shines. You guys all know that Sussex Beard Oil right here is a sponsor of this beard right here. And we are looking to change things up a little bit as far as the promo code, because right now the promo code is specific to buying one thing and getting another thing free. We're trying to look at something that offers something for everybody. So if you are bearded or if you are not, if you've got tattoos, there's a product out there for you that we're trying to rearrange how we give you something uh, to take advantage of that glove box promo code. So uh, Matt White and I have been talking. We're gonna work something out for you guys uh, in the very near future. So they are still sponsoring this beard and I gotta give them kudos for that. Also the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is returning back on Thursday, July the 11th at seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern, nine. Atlantic time is going to be on straight six fans. His link is the second one in the description box below. Head on over. If you haven't subscribed to him yet, please do that now. That way you'll get notified when that show goes live. As always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video. Keep falling for your innocence, acting like you're into me. I know this is hopeless, moving in slow motion, trying to control my thoughts, but I can't stop our body talk. This is a no-go, I just can't take it.